Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Francis Tavern. My name is Barry Smith. So we're going to show you today is our presidential punch. It's our house punch. When it came to designing this punch, we really wanted to reflect the drinking culture from back in the day of the founding father. Uh, a lot of the founding fathers would have been whiskey makers, and wine makers, and cider makers. So we really wanted to reflect that drinking culture. Um, so today I'm going to show you the presidential punch. Punches are great with you know serving a party, having it like prearranged. This one we make with rye whiskey and with rum. Rye whiskey would have been popular at the time. We use uh, Jim Beam rye, but really any quality rye will do. And it really is just dump it into the punch bowl um, and uh, get started. So we use a liter bottle uh, in this recipe. And this recipe is good for, depending on the drinkers that you have, uh, it's good for maybe you know, 15 to 20 people. Uh, so we put in a whole bottle of the, the rye. Next thing we put a whole bottle of the dry Coracell, which is a bitter orange liqueur. So if you're familiar with triple sec, it's a little bit like triple sec, but it's not as sweet. Um, one thing that we know from you know drinks back then is that the sweetness would have come from you know the molasses and the corn. Uh, we use uh, Gosling's rum, which is like a really great quality dark rum. Um, we just throw uh, two ounces into this mix. Now what that's going to bring is some caramel notes uh, and as I said that sweetness. We actually brew a peach iced tea blend um, which uh, gives, so actually a lot of the family fathers would throw their own fruits orchards so we really wanted to have the fruit peach was a popular one at the time and it really helps bring everything together uh, obviously iced tea is a, is a well-known American tradition as well so I'll close in there okay um, and next thing we use is Angostura bitters Angostura bitters is just really really great um, it's kind of like the uh, mixologists um, go to at bringing a cocktail together um, it's gonna have you know, a great flavor. We put an ounce in there, just a little less than an ounce. Um, bitters were, you know, help, preserving things was a big, big uh, culture back in Founding Father's time, uh, because obviously we didn't have refrigeration. So, you know, infusing something in like a strong alcoholic base, or shrub is another thing with that vinegar base, just with trying to get stuff to last through. And that is it. Uh, we will add some lemons, um, just you know, for presentation and to add a little bit of flavor. Um, when it comes to actually making the cocktail, we're going to add some additional ingredients, but they are fresh ingredients such as you know, lemonade, lemon juice, that kind of thing. So we want to keep this part of the punch as shelf stable as possible. So it's the alcohol is going to keep it nice and fresh. Um, and then when it comes to making the cocktail. We'll add those fresh ingredients. Thanks, guys. Cool. Uh, so, welcome back, everyone. Um, we have our punch base that we've already batched. People are starting to arrive, so we want to start creating cocktails for people. As I said earlier, we created the base that would be pure alcohol and that would be shelf stable. Now, we're going to add some of the fresh ingredients. So what we do is we ladle um, uh, uh, two and a half ounces of the batch into there. And then this is our house lemonade. So it's already got the lemon, the water, and the sugar, and it's, on, it's our own blend. Uh, and then we're going to add an ounce of the lemonade in our house lemonade. Add some ice. So the rule when it comes to cocktails is stir if it's pure alcohol, if like such as in Manhattan, if it's got juice, then it's going to shake it. Okay. Cool. 
has a lot of punches back then. It is quite strong. So we serve it over ice, strain it into a old fashioned glass over ice. And we garnish it with a lemon wheel. That. And then honestly, the, the icing on the cake, so to speak, is the nutmeg. I always recommend using whole nutmeg rather than ground nutmeg. Um, the aroma just really brings it all together. Yeah. There you go. Presidential point. Cheers.